I mean, he's done this. News 5's James Girardi spoke to the boy's father tonight. So, James, why in the world does he think his son would do this? Rob, he told me his 10-year-old thought this was all a joke. As we reported earlier today, this isn't the first time this kid has stolen his parents' car. About a week and a half ago, he stole his mom's car. So his dad took him in. His parents are divorced. And this morning, he stole his car, too. I was terrified. I didn't think it was true. But the 10-year-old behind the wheel of this car reached 100 miles an hour in his dad's Toyota Avalon, leading a frenzy of Ohio State troopers nearly 50 miles from Cleveland to Sandusky. We all said the same thing to him. It just goes in one ear, not the other. He think because he think everything is funny. Because he, he think because he got away with it the, the first time, he gonna, they ain't going to do it to him nothing to this, this time. Dad, Christopher Hampton, says his sister was getting his son ready for school. She went to go use the bathroom before she left. She went to the bathroom, he took, he took the key and took off the car. I'm pretty sure there's a car chase going on between a mom and a son right now on the highway. The kid's probably going at least 90. He drove through a toll booth, even avoided state trooper stop sticks. He ultimately got stuck in a ditch after troopers boxed him in. His family thinks he may have learned his reckless driving from playing video games like Grand Theft Auto. I told him he could have hurt somebody, he could have hurt himself, or he could he could he could he could have been killed. You could have killed somebody else. So, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing to him again. And you know you, you knew you was wrong. It's not this everything you do is not a joke. Well, for now, he's spending the night in jail in Erie County. We also learned today from Ohio State Highway Patrol when this kid was being taken into custody, he tried to spit in several troopers' faces. He even kicked one in the chin. Reporting live in Cleveland tonight for News 5, I'm James Girardi.